What's up guys, Billy here, and today I want to cover a topic that often comes up in the comment section of my videos, and that is how to record my iPhone screen. Now I've made videos in the past showing how I did it, but the process was tedious and quite frankly, a little bit sketchy. The app that I was using was called Airshow, and it worked about 60% of the time, and then the other 40% the certificate would be revoked. Anyway, for us iPhone users, there was never a true way to record the screen of our phone, and honestly, it was really frustrating to deal with, especially someone like me who's making videos about their phone and other mobile devices quite frequently. Well, I'm happy to say that in the new version of iOS, iOS 11, screen recording is built into the actual software. We don't even need a separate app. The process to record your screen is as simple as it can get. Swipe up to access the newly designed control center and just click the record icon. From here you can go about your typical use with your phone, but when you are done with the recording you can swipe up and hit that record button again. The recording will automatically appear in your photo library. Now you may be wondering, Billy, how do you have iOS 11 already? Doesn't it come out in the fall? Well, this is actually a public beta, public beta version 1 to be exact, and it became available to download just a few days ago. Now, if you aren't a fan of beta software due to the bugs, you can always wait for the official version to come out in a few months, but I always like jumping on the new software to get the feel of things, and something about me just likes digging through the applications to find bugs. Anyway, I'm going to show you the process to get the iOS 11 beta up and running on your iOS device, and don't worry, it's totally legit and totally legal. So anyway, let's get into it. First, we need to open Safari on our device and go to this page on Apple's website. I will include a link down below for you to easily get there. When you click the link, you'll be prompted to sign in with your Apple ID. Also, there is no need to plug into your computer. You can do it right from the device you want to upgrade, which makes things a lot easier. Once you make it to this page here, scroll down until you see Enroll Your iOS Device. Simply click on the hyperlink to move on. Now we need to download the profile. Before doing so, I would recommend backing up your device through iCloud or to your computer just in case. Once you've done that, scroll down and tap Download Profile. On the pop-up menu, hit Allow, and on the next one, hit iPhone. Next, you will be brought into the settings. All that's left to do is hit Install in the top right corner type in your iPhone's passcode, and hit install yet again. Now I already have the beta so I won't go on from here, but the rest is pretty simple. You'll need to restart your phone and once you do so, head over to the software updates page which is located under general. Your download will be waiting for you. Once iOS 11 has been installed, you will notice that in the control center, screen recording is nowhere to be found. This is because you will need to go into the control center settings, hit customize, and toggle screen recording on. So guys, there we have it. That is how to get the iOS 11 beta up and running on your iPhone. It also works on your iPad. It's basically any iOS device that you own. So again, it's compatible with most iOS devices as long as they're current. There are plenty of bugs to make it somewhat annoying, but these are things that I can live with for the ability to record my screen as it greatly helps when making these videos. Anyway, that's going to do it for me today. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.